Can you zip me up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one second. Well, come on! All right, all right, let's not get into panic mode! Let's not make a big deal out of this thing, and we're never gonna get through this night. Well, I'm meeting your in-laws. I think I should look nice. My in-laws? Oh, my God. So, what do you think? Your old man can look pretty good when he wants to, huh? I don't like that tie. What's the matter with this tie? I've hardly worn it. It's too thin. They're wearing wide now. How do you know what kind of ties they wear? Go to any office building on 7th Avenue and tell me if there's anyone there wearing a thin tie like that. Go ahead. Oh, get the hell out of here. 7th Avenue. <laughs> do you think he should wear a tie like that? Huh? I think he should wear whatever tie he wants. We gotta stop off and pick up a marble rye from Schnitzer's. It's out of our way. Why can't we pick up something at Lord's? It's right over here. No, we have to go to Schnitzer's. I'll show these people something about taste. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Thank God that's so. The mother seems to hit the sauce pretty hard. I didn't like that. And who doesn't serve cake? after a meal. What kind of people would kill them to put out a pound cake? Something. So they didn't give you a piece of cake. Big deal. It is a big deal. You're supposed to serve cake after a meal. I'm sorry. It's impolite. Not impolite. It's stupid. That's what it is. You gotta be stupid to do something like that. Your father is absolutely right. We're sitting there like idiots drinking coffee without a piece of cake. What is this? The marble rye? <laughs> oh, dear, I forgot to put out that, that bread they brought. We forgot to bring it in. No, I brought it in. They never put it out. Where is it? <laughs> I don't know, where'd you put it? Right over there. Well, it's gone. You stole the bread? What do you mean stole? <laughs> it's my bread. They didn't eat it. Why should I leave it there? Because we brought it for them. <laughs> Apparently, it wasn't good enough for them to serve. Is it possible they took it back? Who would bring a bread and take it back? Those people, that's who. I think they're sick. People take buses to get that rye. Maybe they forgot to put it out. They didn't forget to put it out. It's deliberate. Deliberate, I tell you! <laughs>'Cause he's off his rocker. That's why. So do the Rosses know? I don't know. They're all very suspicious. Oh, well, wouldn't they be? A rye bread doesn't just disappear. Now because of that stupid rye bread, I gotta keep them all separated for the rest of my life. Bad situation. I'll tell you what I'd like to do. I'd like to replace that rye. What do you mean replace it? You know, you go out, you get another rye. Of course, it would have to be the same one from Schnitzer's. You put it in the kitchen somewhere, and you say, "Oh, there it is." Oh, there you go. What's so hard about that? What's so hard about that? How am I supposed to get it in there? I can't just walk in with it. I have to get the Rosses out of the apartment. All right, all right. Don't panic. Let's just think about it. The Rosses out of the apartment. Get this card. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> you know, Kramer's been driving that handsome cab. So? So, Kramer will take them around for a while. And... It's their anniversary Friday night. I could send them for a handsome cab ride. You, you think they like that? Are you kidding? People love it. There's something about the clip-clop, clip-clop. They're nuts for it. <laughs> so they go off for the ride. By the time they come back, the bread is there. What about Susan? She's working late that night. We were supposed to have dinner with everybody at 8 o'clock, so I'll set up the ride for 7 o'clock. Beautiful. You think Kramer will do it? Come on, come on. Just wait a second. I never baited a hook with a rye before. <laughs> Your hook is too small. This is for, like, a muffin. <laughs> All right, take it away.